Hello. So, I'm back quicker than I expected because I have a day off today. So, today I just wanted to show you some of my smaller dolls. Um, I'm breaking this up into little segments because I have a lot of dolls. I mean, maybe not as much as some people on here, but to me it's a lot. And to me, it's just easier if I just do them all separately. So I'm going to start with the smaller ones because they're the most put together of all of my dolls. Um, there's a few that need some things here and there, especially one of them, but for the most part they're more or less complete just in terms of like what I think they should be looking like. So <laughs> I'm going to start off with the one that's the least complete in my opinion. Um, is this one. Um, he is a five-star doll Mr. Pumpkin. He doesn't have a head cap because he didn't come with a head cap. When he came to me he had a pumpkin for a head and I thought that was stupid so I didn't realize that he wouldn't come with like an extra piece. I just thought that he would have a regular head so I made him a head cap but it doesn't stay on without like um, a wig and uh, a silicone head cap, so he just kind of hangs around. He had a face up at one point, but I just didn't really like anything about it, so I wiped it um, quite recently. And also, I somehow managed to ruin his outfit. I don't know how, but I just picked him up one day and like literally his entire outfit was completely stained, and I was like, what happened to you? Um... His name is Toodles, and his real name is Theodore, but he, everybody calls him Toodles. Um, he is... I don't really know what his character is. I knew at one point, all of these dolls, they don't really have like a set character. They're more just like cute little dolls for me to enjoy. <laughs> so I'll show you next his twin brother who is a lot more put together. Um, this is a five star doll, Mr. Kane. No, his name is just Kane. <laughs> um, he was like a little gladiator doll and I sold all the things that came with him. So he's just a little elf. He's wearing like a full set um, doll hard outfit right now. He is much more put together and his name is Beanie. His real name is Benjamin, I believe is what I decided. Um, so he is really cute. He's really sweet. He's also a little elf. I'm hoping basically like they're, they're supposed to be twins that don't look like each other. So he's gonna be all like brown hair, dark clothing and he's supposed to be like the blonde one who always wears things like pink and blue and white so maybe one day they can hang out again. I'm hoping I can get him this later in the year like a similar outfit like a similar doll heart, doll, doll heart outfit but just in like a like a little bit more cutesy so that's them. And they have another little friend who is also a five-star doll. I have a lot of five-star dolls because there was an event, and if you purchased, I think, $300 worth, this was like five years ago, four or five years ago, where if you purchased, I think, $300 worth, they would send you a tiny for free. So this is the tiny that I got for free. And she's technically not mine. I bought her for my little sister who at the time she was like really into these dolls and like anime culture in general. So she really liked this doll and I got it for her, but she has since just neglected her completely. So I guess she's mine now again. I mean, I did technically pay for her. She doesn't have a name because my sister never named her. So I just call her Mia because that's her sculpt. It's a five star doll Mia. So. She's really cute. Um, she kind of has a character. I mean, they all kind of have a character, but this was like characters that I wrote back when I was still like in high school, and I don't really relate to those characters anymore. 
So I've since kind of just pushed them aside and I have other stories that I'm working on. Um, so they're not very developed, they're not very put together, but they're still really cute. So, <laughs> and she likes to flop forward because that's what they do. So she's really sweet. Um, I wanted her originally to have like blonde curly hair, like a big curly kind of like an alpaca wig, but they're expensive and I could never find one that like looked good on her face. So she has since just reti retreated to wearing red hair. Um, the next little one is probably my favorite of all of my little dolls. And he was also an event doll that if you purchased, I think, I don't know, it was, it's a doll zone. It's a doll zone event, he's a doll zone long -qui. I think that's how you say it. He has actually little fairy wings that are magnetic and the magnets suck so I never keep them on him but he's supposed to be like a little fairy boy. He's really sweet, he's always wearing this bunny outfit because it's the only thing that I can find that's like even remotely close to what he's supposed to he's supposed to be like a cute little fairy type character and I've noticed that most clothing in this scale are either like really poofy little lolita dresses or like <sighs> suspenders <laughs> and a shirt so he's wearing like a little bunny outfit so he can be just like a woodland fairy eventually I would love to get him some kind of like more fairy-esque outfit, um, maybe with some leaves and things, I don't know, but this is him for now. Um, his name is Lazul. Um, again, he had a story, but I don't like it anymore, so he's just kind of this cute doll. Maybe one day I will talk about the story that I made up for all of these guys. They're all, like, in the same story, at least these little ones. Um, but... For now, they're just cute. Maybe one day I will revisit their story, but right now I just don't care because I have two stories that I care a lot more about, and they're just like the cute guys that hang out in my life. Now, the last one is the only doll that I have that's like, I bought her like this, and she's staying like this. Um, so this is a eye doll... Tsubaki, and I love this little dolly. She is like, she is so cute. I remember my friend had a, an eye doll. If you don't know what eye dolls are, by the way, they are basically made by the same company that does like pull-ups, um, the, the Groove Company. They do pull-ups. And so at one point they were making these little dolls. They're fully articulated. Um, their bodies actually look very similar to the Blue Fairy Tiny Fairy bodies, if you know what those look like. Why would you? I don't know. Maybe you have one. Um, they're very similar. So she had one, and I remember just thinking it was the cutest thing, and she's like, they're like $30. And I was like, no way. So I looked them up, and this is the one that I liked the most. And at the time, like, um, I don't really know what they're doing with the eye dolls right now, if they're actually discontinued, or if they're just like not in production right now or what. I was under the impression that they were completely discontinued but then there's stores like Tuesday Morning and um, a couple of like the Groove partner companies that keep listing them for sale and I'm like well if they're discontinued where are you getting them all from? But anyway this is the one that I wanted the most and this was at the time the rarest one. Nobody had her for sale, nobody even had her second hand. I think I remember seeing one eBay listing where they were asking like $500 for this doll. Keep in mind that this doll originally is like 100 bucks. So she comes with everything. She comes with like the fox ears. She comes with this little foxy tail. Full set outfit. She has like a purse somewhere. Um, oh, her ears fell off. Oh no. Oh well, we'll just take them off because they're a pain to put back on. Um, and then one day I just saw her for sale on pull-up style. And she was only $50. She was, like, on clearance. And I was like, that's amazing. I must have you. So I ordered her, and now she's my little idol. And I love her so much. And she doesn't have... She has kind of a character. She actually has a little bit more of a character than those guys do. Um, but it's not super developed. Um, 
There's a cup. There's one other doll that I would like to get for her to have in her little story. Um, I would love to get her like a couple more outfits. I saw on um, the Obitsu website they have clothing kind of in the scale. They're a little bit, I think, big, but I could take them in as long as it's close enough. They have some cute like Alice type outfits. Um, maybe one day I'll talk about the weird little character that I made for her, but. This is her. Maybe I will give her a name one day, but for now she's just Tsubaki. The last two dolls that I want to show you are dolls that some people might not consider BJDs, but they're still part of my group. They still live with them and everyone else, so I'm just going to show them to you. They are a couple of A-Zone dolls, because I know everybody on here really loves A-Zone dolls. Um, I will show you my two. So the first one is this guy. This is an A-Zone detective style Utah, and he's the second version of the detective um, outfit that they made. I got him... when did I get him? Last year, maybe? I think? I can't remember. I haven't had him too, too long. But, um, this is him. He's really sweet. He's really cute. He, again, doesn't really have a character. These are just... I went crazy with these dolls. I love the A-Zones. They have so many outfits. Like, I don't know how to not buy all of the outfits because there's hundreds. And they're not very expensive. Each outfit is, like, 20 bucks. And I, I bought him, and I was like, he needs clothes. So I literally bought him seven outfits all in one go and he has a lot of clothes so this isn't his default this is like the i think they're it's called like the pxn gymnasium set i bought it in this color and i bought it in another color which i'll show you in just a second um so this is utah and then this is the one that i got very recently he came out in march i believe he is the bluebird Soren, I think is what it's called. So again, this isn't his default outfit. This is the PXN Schoolboy Gymnasium set in blue. <laughs> <That's the name. laughs> so I really love these schoolboy uniforms. Um, there's also a brown one. So there's this like tan colored one and then there's this blue one. And um, I don't have the brown one though. <laughs> But they're really cute, and they're really sweet together, and they're friends, or maybe more than just friends, but I don't know. <laughs> so, I should think of... Oh, they do have names. What am I talking about? This His name is Nero, and his name is... Frick, I don't remember. I gave him a name. But I haven't had him very long. I've had him maybe three weeks now. And I think I had a name for him, but I don't remember it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but those are my two cute, sweet little A-Zone boys. I love them. I love A-Zones. I love A-Zone boys. I love the bodies. Everything about them is just so cute. I love cute little boys. I really love them. Um, maybe in the future I will get a couple more. There's a couple that I really like. I like the original Soren and I like the original Utah too, but they're both really rare now and really hard to find, so I don't know if I'm ever going to get those two. Um, but then there's also like these Shonen Magic Knight Utah and Alto, which is like his companion friend. Like whenever a Utah gets released, he usually comes with an Alto that is in a similar style, and Bluebird Soren is the second version of Soren, and whenever Soren gets released, he gets released with his sister, who I don't remember her name, I'm sorry, but yeah. So those are all of my little tiny dolls, um, at least like what I consider BJDs. I have a lot of just random dolls um, that are not BJDs, which I can show you one day if you'd really like. I have like Disney animator dolls and a couple of Ever After High and some random dolls. So maybe one day I'll show you guys. Um, so that's everyone. Thank you so much for watching this, my second video. And I hope to talk to you guys again very soon. Thank you.
Bye.